This is my new banjo, actually. It is a Marlin. Could be from the 50s or the 60s. Well, I'll get, let you have a closer look at it. I actually just bought this today. I don't really plan on bringing this out anywhere. Yeah, it's a Marlin banjo around the 50s or 60s. I'm not sure yet. Doesn't mean I'm going to replace my banjo entirely. I still have it over there. Can't see it. But uh, it's also got some fur. It's like it's got some wear on it. A couple nicks here and there. Got a piece of tape on it. And someone's actually etched. I don't know if you can see it on camera. They've etched where the fret markers are. I mean, it's not bad. It's just... I don't know why you have to etch it in with a knife. But other than that, it's, it's, a good, it's a good banjo. I like it a lot. It's probably not good. I'm not sure if it's good or not, but for me, it's good. <coughs> sure entirely if the fret if the like word that says it I, I don't know if these are from where it's been played or if this is like naturally added doesn't matter really I mean also in the nut looks like it's kind of been carved as you can see like you can tell it's been used a lot that probably have to be replaced, but for now it's good. Also the bridge. You can see I think it's a half an inch bridge. I, I don't know, I couldn't tell you what wood that was for the life of me. But yeah, it's got a half inch bridge. My other banjo has a uh, inch like a like it has an inch tall bridge. So I might replace that. But for now, it's a good banjo. I'll, I'm going to be playing it a lot. I'll be using my other banjo, like, outdoors and stuff. But I'm going to keep this one mostly to myself for, like, videos and stuff. Yeah. That's about it. Play another piece, I guess.